it's also a huge need of, uh, of know-how, of know-how in terms of uh, uh, not only in fishery sector, but in also other sectors. All these uh, aspects will be deepened uh, by our uh, distinguished guests, starting from the Director General of the MOFI, Mr. Abdi Aziz, uh, the Director of the Department of Planning of the Minister of Fisheries, uh, uh, Mr. Abdullah Yaddo, but also uh, other Italian uh, distinguished guests, like the director of the Mogadishu office of the Italian Agency for Development Cooperation, our friend Guglielmo Giordano, and uh, the officer in charge, uh, UNIDO representative in, uh, in Somalia, uh, Mr. Igor, uh, Igor Scaccia. And then we will have also the contribution of the private sector, because we'll have uh, four success cases in Somalia for uh, selected companies in, in Mogadishu and Kismayo that will present their business uh, and their needs in terms of technology and uh, investments uh, with aim to, uh, to present the opportunities uh, and also uh, fishery and marine resources. And of course, our dear friend, the Deputy Director General of the Somali Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Um, and we brought here for the first time uh, a, a kind of an interministerial group uh, from the Minister of Commerce and Industry and Minister of Fishery that work together in Somalia to support the development of the productive sector. UNIDO in Somalia is, uh, thanks to the support of the government of Italy, is uh, being uh, uh, now uh, put in the leadership uh, of what is the support that Somalia needs on area of SME development and productive sector development. And we're very proud of that because this is the result of uh, two years of hard work from the uh, excellent team in, the, in, in Mogadishu, in Kisimayo, Baido, but also other parts of Somalia, that uh, has been ident starting to work closely with the private sector to understand their needs and understand what are the requirements for uh, removing those um, binding, binding constraints that are limiting the growth of the sector, of productive sector in general. Here today we are talking about fishery sector and uh, what are the potential for the fishery sector in Somalia, which precisely you mentioned Francesco at the beginning, uh, uh, is a land of opportunity is actually a sea of opportunity. Uh, it is uh, an immense coastline that uh, at the moment uh, is probably completely untapped in terms of resources and opportunity that can bring uh, to um, Somalia itself in terms of economic development, but as well as uh, in to the uh, business, uh, business side, both nationally and internationally in terms of uh, um, provision of uh, supply from foreign companies to Somalia of technology and solutions or even solution for better fishing solution, better fishing solutions, or uh, uh, even to uh, the Somali market in terms of added value that the fish could add in the moment is eventually catched and processed at shore. At the moment, this is a very very limited activities happening. There are very few enterprises and some of them, you will be able to meet them today during the presentation that uh, we will give the floor in a moment. And uh, uh, what I would like to leave the message to this room and to the participants of this group is that uh, the companies that are coming today to this meeting are companies that have been selected through a process of identification that uh, is uh, uh, happened at the field level from the UNIDO team and working together with the Somali Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and a network of enterprise development units that are providing direct support to um, our, um, our uh, the Somali private sector. This network of, Somali, of enterprise development units is part of the union technical assistance that is provided to Somalia and uh, is a critical component that then we continue to the support that uh, is provided by the union office in Rome with Francesco leading the exercise in terms of uh, putting in contact the right Somalia. Somalia is uh, actually waiting since a very long time uh, for more investment. And uh, the, the possibility, opportunity are immense. Uh, also, during the, the, the last years, I, I, the private sector invested in the, in, the, in the fishery sector. They started with the very interesting uh, uh, factories and uh, exporting at least in the region countries. And this is very uh, interesting for, for us. So we know that a very serious uh, entrepreneur and uh, we may support them to do even more 
uh, is even better. So this is the aim of uh, our program we are financing uh, to UNIDO with a very strong collaboration with Australia and the industry. And really, I hope to hear about some more ideas from our Somali friends to the invasive they are very committed to, to go ahead to enhance the production. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Giordano, for your kind words. And now I am glad to give the floor to the Director General of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government of Somalia, Mr. Abdiaziz Ibrahim Adam. You have the floor, please. Thank you, uh, Excellencies, distinguished uh, participants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, on the behalf of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, the Federal Republic of Somalia, I would like to express my gratitude to New Unido, Italian Agency for Development Cooperation, uh, and C Logi for organizing this panel. Uh, Somalia is the is at the crossroads where whereby more and more businesses are looking for international collaboration as Somali within its, it is uh, second lo longest cost, coastal coastal line in Horn onto different kind of fish uh, the sector is the steel virgin and using all the traditional method and equipment as a director of general, I believe this sector has a huge uh, potential uh, create employment and economic growth, having established the network of enterprise uh, development units in different areas of uh, Somalia. There is an opportunity for the ministry and Chamber of Commerce and the Ministry of Fishery to cooperate and leverage to the skill and expertise of these units under the Acro Technology Project to promote and establish the linkage between the international companies and business, uh, Somali business. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is my uh, brief and short uh, presentation. Uh, thank you, Gior Giordano and Igor and Francisco uh, for uh, this uh, important uh, uh, meeting today organized. Thank you very much. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Director. Thank you for joining our, uh, our panel. Now I'm glad to give, to give the floor to the Director of the Department of Planning uh, from the Ministry of Fisheries and Maritime Resources, Mr. Abdullahi Eddo. You have the floor, Mr. Thank you. You are, you are muted. Um, okay, please. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, Francesco. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, it's a great honor for me to be here today and to be part of this panel. And I, I would like to thank uh, people of Italy and the government and also uh, the, 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 the Somali uh, f fishing companies who are here and the rest of the participants. I just would like to say uh, um, welcome and uh, I would be very glad to uh, be part with you, be part of this uh, important uh, panel, and I see uh, it's very critical point at this point when it when it comes to the fisheries economic uh, economic development. Uh, we believe, we believe uh, fisheries is the most uh, promising sector which can support the development of the economy in Somalia, and uh, uh, since 2018 we had put a vision to develop this sector and we have been doing it great well. Uh, I just want to say uh, welcome and, and I, I, I can see we, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, answer anything, any, any question that you have and I will be open to 
discuss anything related to the fisheries. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for sure. Uh, you you will remain online, obviously, also to reply to to the to the questions uh, from the from the from the Italian companies from the participants regarding the fishery sector in general in uh, in Somalia. Now we go to the to the focus of our panel because uh, we we passed the private sector session of our uh, webinar. Uh, I'm glad to give the floor to the Deputy Director General of the Somali, Somali Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Professor Isse Alane, to present the private sector, um, the, the, the fishery private sector in Somalia, and then we have the presentations from the, from the private companies. Professor Isse, uh, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Balanco. Uh, I would like to say good afternoon to all of you the donors of the Italian Department of Foreign in the, uh, Development, the UNIDO, Mr. Igor, in the different parts of the Somali government's uh, representation from the Ministry of uh, Commerce and uh, the uh, Industry, the Fisheries, the Minister of Fisheries, Mr. Addo, and the different companies who are now just taking part of this uh, important uh, meeting, which has been uh, organized by the UNIDO and uh, the Italian uh, Department of the uh, Agency of, of uh, Development. It is really very important for us to look back to the history of the fisheries in Somalia since we have got the independence and claimed for our own independent state. And if you look back at that, it's really very neglected sector that not have been given the policy that it needs when it comes to economic growth and development because we never got a, a very well settled a, uh, policies. It hasn't been prepared for its legal part of it in terms of uh, the, uh, the exploiting and taking advantage of the huge economic revenue that could have been uh, a, uh, developed from that and would have been a very much contributing to the economic development of the country. And uh, technically when you see, yes, we did, did a little bit of it, and um, we do now have the, the, the measures that needs to be, if you want to export this sector, which is the SPS, the Sinatry and Final Sinatry, which actually has been uh, grouped, if you like, the livestock sector, the agriculture and fishery, which is very important for us to focus on that. And then most of the time that we do take part of as well is uh, the investment that now as the Chamber of Commerce we did have from the Italian regions for the development through the UNIDO, which has been very successful for its very first effects. We did actually try to develop a, uh, the, 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 the private sector to be able to take this uh, opportunity for the partnership of uh, Mr. Palaco was actually earlier on this statement. And we did make the, the enterprise development for the for Jabalan, Southwest, and uh, Mogadishu. And now we're expanding that thing. We are expanding to Hirshabel and going upward to that levels. It is very important for us to underline that how important it is for the access of the investment to get that investment for us to be able to that through the, the uh, EDU that we're doing for the companies to develop the skills they need to partner with the foreign companies. And of course, we are looking for the market and that's the whole issue scope is going to come down where we need to get a market after we have a, uh, take a uh, measures for the SPS, uh, legal, I mean, uh, in the underlining that we need to see how we're going to be partnering partner with, the, with, the, with international uh, partners. And I think for us to be able to fully a, a, a take advantage of this oh. partnership and developing the technology and investors that would like to invest in Somalia. I would suggest that maybe we would need Wrong also off. to make, we would like to also make some sort of way R&D if that is possible. And I really, really, really thank for the Italian agents and the NATO which has been put in place. And very much practical things sir, for the private sector development, especially I mean, concentrating and giving the priority, which has anyway, if you look back in the economic re re uh, revenue back in the, when we did have before the civil, civil war started the government, that Sorry. we did have the biggest revenue for the, for, the, for, the, for the government, which was the livestock agriculture. 
and neglected fisheries. And now coming back, this to me personally, I see a very good step forward for the Somali, uh, if we're talking about economic growth and development, I think we are doing the right step forward. And I hope and I thank for the, for the UNIDO and uh, the Italian Ages for Development. I thank you very much, Mr. Polacco. I'll give you back to the floor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor, for, the, for your uh, introduction to the, to the private uh, delegation, to the private companies uh, we are hosting this morning. Now, uh, we, have, we save time in the opening remarks, so we have more time for the, for the second part of the panel. Uh, so the, pre the presentations of the companies uh, could, be, could be delivered uh, without rush, so uh, we have time on that. Uh, let's start from uh, the Jubaland Ocean Resources Enterprises from Kismayo, Kismayo in the south of Somalia. Um, I don't know the name of the representative, but uh, uh, you have the floor and you can, you can share your screen to, uh, to present your company. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is everyone hearing me? Yeah, we, we can hear you. Oh, thank you much. Uh, I truly... I, uh, let me take the opportunity to thank all the participants from all the uh, support agencies and uh, the ministries, the Chamber of Commerce and the rest of the team that are all dedicated to support the fishing sector of Somalia. Oh. I think what we have done so far, are we okay? Hello? Yes, please go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I think what we are all engaged with is try to improve this sector, which we feel is all vital to both job creation and the economic development of Somalia. Most importantly, what I feel very promising is the ministry's engagement to really support this initiative and see our economy recover quicker. We strongly believe we can be the backbone of Somali economy going, future, going forward. Jubaland Ocean Resources Enterprise, located in Kismayo, headquartered in Kismayo, but the factory and the processing center located in Raskamboni, Somalia, feels proud of being part of this uh, project. We have uh, our word, which we say, let's have this together. You know, we all talk of the, the big potential that the fishing sector has in Somalia. And sometimes traditionally, we are called nomads that we are more maybe into livestock than have been uh, into fishing. So I think we are pivoting towards making fishing as our backbone or the main support economic for our country. And then now it's time we all have this. You know, let's try to look at it that way and see if we can improve our economy through fishing sector. So Jorre, you know, is a uh, Jubaland Ocean Resources Enterprise. We also call the region, the Badar area where we are located is also called Jorre. Most of the Somalis know. So we sort of said what will be the best name, how we can market both the area on the product. So we have the logo designed under the name, the acronym JORE, generally being Jubaland Ocean Resources Enterprise. Mr. So Hussein, we feel I... proud of being part of this. So yeah, I think uh, it's better if you share the presentation. The... Can you see it? No, no, we cannot see your presentation. You should share your screen and then, uh, and then uh, present the, the... Oh, yeah. hold on. Uh, I thought I shared the screen before. No, no, sure. no, it's not shame. You, you should. Okay. Oh, share. Okay. Okay. Can you see it now? Yeah, now we can see. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought I already shared this. Okay. No, no. So no. now you can now you can see the screen, right? Now we can see the screen. Yes. Okay, good. So I was basically trying to explain uh, 
the genre. That's what we call. Uh, so everybody, if you can see, thank you. Let's have this together. So that's what the uh, our logo stands for, and we are proud of being part of uh, this project. So we call ourselves. We are always determined to be really part of the different projects that will um, try to enhance the development of this sector. We feel we have a very strong um, younger population and most of the, uh, both the ministry and the businesses and the different uh, support organizations are all in, I mean, in support of trying to improve this project. And I feel uh, it's very uh, promising. So we have had uh, different businesses uh, that have been to different places. You know, I try to keep some of the pictures. I don't have most of them, but uh, that's what we feel uh, will help us. Advantage of the Somali fish. Uh, I think it's jumping, jumping on me. Can everybody see clearly? I think I have my, I'm kind of losing my connection. If I'm not. Yes, it's better if you use the presentation mode of your PowerPoint. As we can, uh, we can see the, the slide in the in the work screen. Okay, can you see now uh, the Jorah Fishing Company Limited one? Yeah, yeah, we, we can, have, we have, can, okay. We can see, but uh, if you so if you most of you most of you know the different uh, products that are available uh, in the region, and also uh, they are significant, uh, both uh, health wise and also economically. Uh, in Jorah, you can almost find all sort of uh, the fish that you may need. What makes it uh, very unique is that migration of fish that really comes and almost ends up in um, the Jorah region. And you can find all sort of uh, the tunas and you know the different uh, beautiful fishes that anyone can dream of. Uh, advantage of the fish. Uh, sector in the world, I think we all know. But what we feel is Somalia really as it stands today, even despite the civil war that has ravaged our country, we are still noticeable in the whole uh, market that our products one way or the other, even though the branding may be labeled differently, but our products finds its way all over the world. So what makes it very uh, promising also our proximity to these other uh, neighboring countries, uh, you know, Kenya, Ethiopia, all these uh, that have maybe more advanced processing sectors that do use our, uh, our products and also uh, take it to the whole world. It helps us one way or the other because we are still showing that we are really a power that's out there, that we are the best so that's what we feel uh, that we are uh, being marketed in the, whole, in the whole world. Now, uh, Jorge has uh, been in uh, close to Kenya, has almost been supplying majority, majority of fish to Kenya. They do have uh, fish that they bring from uh, China and all these other different world. But most of the time they rely on uh, the Somali fish for both their local consumption and also for processing uh, to be shipped to the international world. So we know we have been uh, giving them, uh, Jorah has been supplying Kenya with all the products we get. For example, when we harvest and we work with the local providers, we sell directly to uh, Kenya. Uh, the local markets we have been selling very few because internally the consumption like you know, the closest bigger populated uh, city of Kismayo has several different uh, other fishing companies which are really doing a good job to supply the market and also sometimes shipping it to uh, uh, Mogadishu or other part of the country. So our share to local market was only about 25%, but we have been supplying almost 100% of supply to uh, the neighboring uh, Kenya. So you will find that we are more in the uh, international market than we are doing uh, locally within the country. Our trade routes is what really sometimes makes it uh, very funny because we see we carry from uh, Somalia, we take it to Kenya, from Kenya, they process it to all other parts of the world. And what really this is going to be mentioned also perhaps is uh, the facilities we use may not be to the standard required 
or you know we, we we say it it's really good but we really need to make some improvements so that we can deal with international markets directly ourselves than going through uh, a third party or uh, through another country but now majority of what we do is we have this from jore we take it to kenya where we have established another company uh, a partner company but uh, and the name of jore uh, fishing also legal legal in kenya and then from there we supply to the other world you know because of security and all of this we cannot directly supply from jore infrastructure is another limiting uh, factor which we will explore and explain uh, in the next slides so we get from our place we, it goes to kenya from kenya it goes to all the other countries you know middle east united arab emirates been a very higher uh, consuming uh, recently, uh, the consumption of uh, uh, supplies to Yemen has been increasing. We also find now uh, more market in, in Djibouti. Djibouti is really catching up and we really feel uh, that one is also going to improve more as we go. And bringing Djibouti on board is really going to help us. We are trying to uh, establish You know, most of the time we look at the pricing, very important, and see how we can improve uh, the, the, the income for ourselves and also for those we deal with. Is it me scratching the screen or someone is scratching the screen? No, 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 no. Okay. No, I'm, I'm, some scratch on the screen, I don't know why. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, I don't know, someone is, I don't know if it's someone, but I just do see the, all the lines on there. Mm. So uh, we do have uh, uh, the same routes are also taking place, but most importantly, even with this uh, fishing uh, routes that are taking our products to Oman, Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, the North African countries, all of these, uh, really comes from Somalia. And the point is, sometimes we get overlooked at because uh, uh, of the labeling that has been uh, put on our product. And I think this is where the ministry will become uh, very vital going forward in the future as to, uh, as to how we can uh, still maintain our labelings on all the products that we have and make sure that uh, our name recognition gets further and more in the in the in the world. Well, I can't I can't even see now my slide. <laughs> I don't know who is doing the scratches. I, I'm not sure if it's me or someone else. I'm not I playing with the keyboard. I said to start the presentation from the share screen. Maybe disconnect the share screen and restart it uh, because uh, so this thing should disappear. Yeah, yeah. It's better to stop the presentation, stop the the, the sharing, and uh, only yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how it can be possible, uh, but uh, someone, please do not scratch the screen. Okay, please, please go ahead. Can you see my screen now? No, no. No, you should uh, okay. reconnect. Hold on one moment, Thank let you. me see. No, il tuo audio is not Okay. okay, please. Okay. Are you good now? Yes. Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. So that explores the Padma company, which we have also in, uh, in Kenya. And, uh, you know, we say the pride is our team. That's where they really become vital because manpower really is what is going to drive this sector. In Kenya, they have different standards of even uh, how we deal with the employee in, in terms of the employee rights and also their health checks and the, uh, the working environment. So what we do directly in Kenya is also labeling some of the products and uh, that is being consumed locally. You know, when they deal with international, we have some other different international companies that deal with it and they do their own uh, labeling. 
I think this is some other technical aspect. I think the ministry is going to be uh, and the Chamber of Commerce very helpful going forward with this one. What really makes also uh, Jorre product more visible and also Jubaland at large is uh, the infrastructure that has been in place so far. You know, we have the, uh, the seaport, the Xmayo seaport, which really has been accessed to some degree, but that can, uh, the consumption of the access can really improve as we have, uh, we make international business connections. So with the ministry and all the different involved uh, people, I think as long as we develop further countries that are ready to engage with the country uh, uh, business-wise, makes uh, Jubaland more potential because of the infrastructure that's in place, the seaport, uh, a well-modern one. We have the Kismar International Airport, uh, which is also um, a very decent airport that can be used internationally with different groups. Jubaland state fishing opportunities, you know, different products. You know, this, uh, when you look at some of these pictures, which are very amazing, the different beautiful fishes that you can find in our seas. Uh, the strength of the sector, when we, you know, talk about the long coastline we have, you know, the, uh, the bordering countries that we share, the access uh, that we can have to uh, the Middle East and also the North African country. Okay, someone is really doing it, and maybe I'll go for the challenges. The challenges that uh, we face, you know, very universal sometimes. Uh, you know, the, the civil war has taken uh, some toll on us, but uh, we are recovering and recovering at a very uh, decent pace, which I think, uh, you know, shows how resilient the Somali people are and also uh, the expertise of Somalis doing business. There. So uh, outreach abilities is really a problem that we have. Yes, we please. have, uh, you know, we are limited with, yeah, someone is trying to play with this. Yes, game. thank you, thank you. Please go ahead without, without sharing the screen for the moment. Uh, so we are, you know, we, we, we do see that challenges, uh, uh, sometimes very minor, but uh, very, um, you know, it, it really has an impact on the economy. So we are sort of uh, limited in terms of the banking investment, very limited uh, opportunities. Uh, I think uh, the whole country is structuring its financial system, the PFM systems. And as this happens, I think the banking system is also going to improve going forward. Uh, you know, where Georgia is located, it has a quicker access, uh, sea access to Kenya but somehow we are limited in terms of road access to the rest of the uh, local market. Uh, you know, handling the way uh, we supply things also, we are limited in terms of the international standards required. So that makes it a little bit tough because, you know, when you're trying to compete with uh, companies that are advanced, that has been working on their processes for years, 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 and we're playing the catch up. You know, it's very tough sometimes to meet that uh, standard requirement, both the health, you know, the infrastructural, the uh, production site uh, requirements and certifications, you know, internationally required, all of this is becoming an issue. Another bigger factor that we are struggling with is the, uh, the power, you know, uh, operating with, uh, with diesel is really very tough and very hard to deal with. So what happens is when we use uh, diesel power to supply uh, our generators or the, the cold chain to maintain our cold chain, it's becoming very costly and uh, very tough. In terms of uh, areas of cooperation, I mean, uh, it's a very widely open. The fisher sector, very huge. We have the product, but we have to find really a way that we can market our product. So fishing techniques, this is where your companies really become important that uh, we can really partner in improving the techniques, you know, the harvesting techniques, um, the storage itself, uh, you know, uh, training for training uh, for the personnel and the staff, equipment, heavy duty machineries, and all of these different packaging products, uh, branding, advertisements, 
all of these are areas in which we can all cooperate in. Uh, I truly thank the team, uh, all the team that are participating here today. I do want to recognize your efforts and the hard work that everybody is putting. The Somali uh, business uh, community, the chamber, all the different uh, fishing businesses. I know we are all struggling, but down the road, I think this is going to be a very beneficial sector. And uh, I really, I really love your actions, even under the kind of uh, conditions we are in, if we can try to improve this sector together. And teamwork is what's going to save us all. And I look forward to working with all of you guys. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Hussein. Sorry for these uh, for these uh, unforeseen circumstances. I suggest to the organizer to uh, doesn't allow to all the participants to present uh, and to intervene in the in the presentation because it's it's not uh, it's not a security issue of Zoom, but uh, I think it's it's enough to set. Uh, to set the, 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 the status of each participants, then, uh, then I, I think we can avoid this problem because uh, there is someone uh, who, is, uh, who is drawing on the screen, but uh, in my opinion, it's enough to, uh, to doesn't allow to everyone to present, uh, um, to present and only to the companies, uh, only to the company who is presenting uh, actually. Okay, so- Thank you, Francesco. Sì, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, okay. I'm now glad to give the floor to uh, uh, the company Alkerat Fishing. Hi, hello everybody. Yes, thank you, thank you. You have the floor, please. Thank you. First and foremost, uh, I would like to thank uh, UNIDO, uh, Somalia office, and the whole team of UNIDO as well. Uh, I would like to thank also uh, Theology for arranging this uh, amazing event. I would also like to thank the Italian development agents. Uh, I would also like to thank the ministries and the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, after that, uh, I will go directly into my presentation. Al Khairat company uh, has been established in 1999. We are one of the leading artisanal fisheries company in, uh, in Somalia. Uh, we have a uh, small coal storage and a fleet of uh, fishing boats. Uh, we have a, a good history uh, in the country and we have been exporting to uh, uh, neighboring countries and uh, Oman and Dubai, especially uh, for, for lobster. Our current projects uh, at this moment, we have two small plus freezers. We have two 40 feet cold storage uh, containers. Uh, we have two cold rooms in a very strategic places in the capital city of Mogadishu. Al Khairad Fishing Company has a, a, a long uh, standing relationship with clients in uh, Dubai. Uh, mainly, that is our current international market there. Uh, we also have uh, our own uh, uh, restaurants uh, that we supply to. Uh, and we make uh, the best uh, uh, fish soup uh, in the capital city. So, uh, in the future, if any one of you comes, uh, you are all invited to test our soup. Uh, I can stand uh, here by saying it is the best. So that is also, we supply our own uh, restaurants as well. Uh, we have a, a chartered agreement with a small artisanal fisheries uh, that we buy from and that we have an agreement uh, to buy and supply to us as well as our own uh, Our current production capacity is uh, 43 tons. Uh, that is worth 129,600 US dollar. 
Our monthly lobster production is yearly uh, five tons, uh, estimated at thirty-two thousand four hundred US dollar. Uh, we view uh, this as an opportunity. Our company is ready to grow and to scale up uh, if it gets uh, ambitious uh, investors and partners uh, that can participate with us in uh, uh, as a local partner because we believe the future of Somalia. Uh, is untapped and the opportunity is there. Uh, and and, and uh, as a company, Al Khairat has a long history uh, after the collapse of the country, after the civil war. Uh, we are one of the companies that stood up and helped the artisanal fisheries to get market. Uh, we were exporting uh, our lobster and fish while the Mogadishu airport and Mogadishu port was not functioning at all. Our future goals is to become one of the leading companies in East Africa. Uh, we want to supply Horn of Africa. We see Ethiopia as a huge market, untapped market. It's a landlocked country. So there is a big opportunity there and we are looking at it. Uh, Al Khairat uh, uh, catch, catch are mainly dominated by artisanal fishing methods. It's an old style. Uh, we use hand lines and we use small nets uh, to catch mainly uh, demersal fishes like grant, emperor, grouper, snapper, and goldfish. Uh, we want to change that given the right support and connection uh, to fishing vessels with sophisticated tools and equipment which can fish from the high seas and target high value fishes. The pelagic uh, species uh, that are uh, mainly expensive is very hard to catch on these uh, uh, not sophisticated tools that we are currently using. It's very hard uh, to catch those uh, uh, demersal uh, pelagic uh, species. Uh, they include sardines and yogis, uh, tuna, bellfishes, mackerel, and dolphin fish. This is a huge undeveloped resource present in a very lucrative option for commercial fishing conglomerates, uh, which are currently absent in the Somali fishing industry. Al Khairat is open to partner with them in a sustainable way of fishing from the high seas. Uh, how we plan to achieve our goals? Uh, by taking full advantage of our coastline, which is uh, 3,300 kilometers in length, by overcoming the lack of infrastructure for hygienically storing and processing and transportation, transporting the fish products. Currently, we don't have any certified processing uh, centers in Somalia. Uh, that is a, a big challenge to, to us uh, because we cannot export to the European Union, we cannot export to the US market, uh, as well as some Asian countries. So we want and we are planning to overcome that. Uh, Al Khairat is a, a founding member of the Somali Seafood Exporters Association, which, were, which was currently registered with the Minister of Fisheries and is recognized. Mainly, we will use uh, Somali Seafood Exporters Association to lobby uh, to get us uh, cold storage that are certified that have uh, internationally standardly certified that we can process our fishes and then we can export it to international market. We are ready to co-invest cold storage facilities, canneries and processing factories as well if we find uh, interested investors. We want to change the fishing methods uh, which has gone largely unchanged since the early 20th century in Somalia. Uh, everything is done with uh, fiberglass boats, small boats, uh, handheld nets. Uh, everything is not sophisticated. We want to change that. Uh, the company is also eager uh, to develop the handling capacities of Somalia's uh, key ports and airports. Uh, now, Mogadishu port does not have cold storage uh, uh, place in the port. The airport doesn't have it as well. Uh, and it's the capital city, so you can understand. If you look at the other regions, they are worse than Somalia, than, than Mogadishu. So we want also to, to help that and to have uh, some understanding with the Ministry of uh, Fishery 
and the port authority and the airport uh, uh, authority to establish uh, handling capacities and to establish cold storage systems in, in, these, in these important uh, infrastructure uh, uh, that, that can support for us to, 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 to export our fish. Somalia is blessed with uh, many airports uh, and we believe that is the best uh, option for us to export our catch instead of ports. We have more airports than ports. So it will be much quicker and much safer to export it uh, through the airports. However, we are also having issues with our roads. Uh, since the collapse of the, country, uh, the government, uh, the infrastructure has not been developed. The roads are depleted. They are not uh, as a, as they are not in a very good condition. Uh, so we are also having issues with that end. If I come into the investment consideration, uh, the Somali government nowadays, they encourage direct foreign investment. Uh, everything is in place, legal, administrati administrative, uh, application process, everything is in place. They want to attract direct foreign investment. So if, uh, International companies are interested to partner with us. Uh, the Ministry of Commerce, the Ministry of Fishery, the Ministry of Planning, they are all willing to support that. So we are very happy and we are very grateful to our, uh, to our government uh, on that end. We also have cooperatives where artisanal fisheries, uh, artisanal fishing companies come together uh, we can encourage uh, these artisanal fishermen and fishing companies to come together and uh, to supply and have agreements with close to shore catches. or we also want to create employment for our crew members uh, with deep sea going vessels in the future. That is also an opportunity that is right there. The cooperative sign place the artisanal fisheries and the artisanal fishery companies and fishermen, they have associations of their own uh, and, and they are willing uh, to supply uh, or even work uh, as crews. There is also an opportunity when it comes to sophisticated uh, freezer transportation, cold storage facilities. Those infrastructure development projects are also needed uh, very urgently. So we can accommodate that. Uh, and we wanted to use uh, these uh, freezing storage to accommodate uh, and to store the, the catch of the season. Uh, my conclusion remarks, uh, Al Khirat Fishing Company recognized the need for foreign direct investment as a driver for national development. The Somali fisheries industry presents a very lucrative opportunities for investment with large volumes of high value resources. And our company's leadership is very keen to develop the industry. We are ready, willing and able to partner with any international company that is interested in the fishing sector of Somalia. Al Khairat Fishing Company is very keen to support prospective joint investors, joint partnerships through initial stage uh, of setting up linkage with the Minister of Commerce and the Minister of Fisheries by helping the application process, by co-doing with the technical studies, project appraisal documents and feasibility studies. We are also ready to arrange business matchmaking with the cooperatives and the artisanal fishery associations uh, in Somalia. And we are ready to structure a local partnership with any international company that is ready uh, to come to Somalia and invest. We are also open uh, for the international, Italian uh, International Development Agents or UNIDO uh, to come uh, with fishing uh, projects that can support in three areas. Uh, coal storage, which is very important, uh, transportation, uh, tracks that have uh, fisheries uh, on top and uh, by giving us uh, fishing vessels that have all facilities on board. 
Thank you so much. Welcome to Somalia. We are open for business. Shokran. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very, very interesting presentation. Uh, I say this occasion to, to remember to all the participants to post the, the questions in the, in the chat as we can, uh, we can read all the questions and uh, we, we, can, uh, we can answer the, the, all the questions at the end of the, of the webinar. So please, uh, please write uh, on, the, on the chat. Thank you very much, sir. Now uh, I give the floor to Sun Seafood Company. Uh, I ask the, the, if they are joining the, the, the conference because uh, before they, they, they were not online. The Sun Seafood Company. Okay, so uh, they're not joining. Uh, uh, let's give the floor to uh, Bilan Fishing Company from Mogadishu. Okay, San, San, see, sorry, sorry, madam. I see Sun Seafood is, uh, is online. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Please. Please, you have the floor. Thank you very much. And hello to everyone. I am here by greeting to the uh, uh, representative of the Minister of uh, Commerce, the uh, Minister of Education, and also uh, uh, Francesco Belorca, and, and also Unido, and all the uh, participants of the meeting. Thank you and uh, welcome to our presentation. And here uh, we want to very. Uh, uh, participate with you uh, for a short uh, presentation and I want to I want to share my screen my presentation screen to you yes please so uh, can you see my screen and welcome to our American seafood and we are placed in uh, Hobio, uh, the most fishing rich uh, zone in Somalia. And uh, Sahan Seafood Hobbies, they accept fishing license and permits from the Somali federal government and all the regional governments, uh, local states. We are registered in uh, all uh, the uh, states in Somalia and also the federal company the federal government of Somalia. Our main uh, office in, is in Mogadishu, and also uh, we, our production center is in Hobio. And uh, we have a dry place, a dry fish center in Hapun, Somalia. Sahan Seafood has been uh, established and uh, come to exist in 2015. And uh, since our uh, startup, we have uh, done uh, uh, large, we have uh, established large uh, cold storage capacity and, uh, and about 120 ton uh, storage capacity in Hobio. And uh, we are, we have started to uh, gain the HACCP and ISO uh, standardization in order to go for international markets. Uh, we offer, we prepare to get uh, HACCP because HACCP uh, is a food system, safety system, and, and also uh, it's same to ISO which is a uh, food safety management uh, system standard. And also uh, HACCP focuses on the uh, sensation of the facility, equipment, and products. And HACCP also uh, uh, requires to fulfill the requests 
uh, of uh, 12 prerequisites uh, that are facility and equipment, personal training, cleaning and sensation, maintenance, supply review, chemical control, waste management, best uh, management, storage and transportation, product recall procedures, labeling and purchasing procedures. And so far, we have uh, we have done uh, most of the uh, key prerequisites programs, and and also we are going to fulfill the rest of it. Also, we have uh, uh, we have uh, participated the HACCP implementation. One of uh, our uh, uh, staff has participated uh, the HACCP implementation course as well as. Has an awareness course. And the mission statement of the, our company is to provide the purest and healthiest seafood products that satisfy the needs of our customers, create conductive working environment where people are inspired to the best they can be through provision of our uh, employment opportunities while maximizing the long-term return for owners. And we are also, uh, both we will keep uh, in touch both to uh, the local people and also or in the, for the uh, international uh, participants as well. Uh, we are envisioning it to become the leading authentic seafood provider that's uh, locally recognized for the quality in all produced seafood products with the long term business strategy. And also, we are going to take part the, uh, uh, the association is the local association is of the uh, country. We are uh, value, we have uh, core values. The accountability and transparency, quality of service, prompt guidance and attention to customers' needs, professionalism as an establishment. We, ha uh, we have uh, these competencies, fishing and seafood processing uh, uh, area, and also in uh, compliance management training. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, taken several trainings of the management uh, that related to the uh, fish uh, fish processing uh, uh, fish processing part. And also we have uh, done food safety and quality assurance that we are going through to HACCP, uh, to get HACCP certified for the coming uh, twenty twenty one. Yeah. Uh, our business goal is and objective is, is to exceed customers' expectations and to fulfill what all uh, our customers need from uh, us to fulfill before supplying to them, and also to ensure all clients get a better service for their money. That what whoever is taking. Our product, uh, we are trying to uh, make him very happy and, uh, and rely on paying his money, what he needs, and also exceeding to that uh, need. Also, we are going to hire a professional and outstanding employees that will contribute to the campaign growth, uh, both locally and internationally. And also, we have some uh, international and uh, international uh, consultants to our company that are taking part to the uh, day to day uh, daily basis uh, activities of the company. And also, we are envisioning or uh, our goal is to build good reputation for the company and establish wide recognition within year two of business. And also, we are going to increase sales revenue by 100% in year two, 70% in year three, and 50% in year four. And we are also in transport, we have a built transport network for 
for the frozen processes with high volume uh, quantity uh, that we can uh, take by container via Djibouti, Dubai, and Oman to the uh, European and uh, American uh, companies. And also by air uh, through uh, our main uh, processing area, Hobio, to Mogadishu Airport, and also to uh, Addis Ababa and rest of the world. I also want to show you some of uh, our uh, uh, photos uh, in, in, of the company. That's uh, our part, part of our uh, management. And uh, let me show you uh, shortly some of our uh, products that we can uh, supply. The, uh, we have a big service. Uh, that you uh, maybe you can get interest to it. The blue fish, and also we have a uh, grouper, so, uh, several types of grouper. We have several types of grouper. This is one of it. And also mackerel uh, that can be a uh, frigate mackerel and, and also Indian mackerel. Also, we can get uh, this uh, large amount of this swordfish, the marlin. And also, uh, Trevali is available in uh, our uh, facility, it's Blue Trevali, Golden Trevali, and Malabar as well. We have uh, also uh, several types of tuna, big tuna, skip shock, lexus, little tuna, long tail, waho. And also we have yellow fin tuna in very large amount. And also yellow tail sajat is there. Our uh, products are also included dried sea cucumber. Uh, that's uh, one of the uh, most rare uh, products that can be found in the, in the country. And also we can supply this uh, product. And there's also uh, some, this photo is uh, early processing shark fins that we have taken once in, in the processing area. And our capability per month is uh, we can supply uh, tuna, yellow tuna, uh, up to um, uh, 20 tons, uh, and also other tuna uh, fishes up to 25 ton and also we can uh, we can uh, supply a uh, lobster for uh, up to 3.4 ton per month and also uh, other seafood to be uh, administered as per the as per the needs of the uh, customer up to now we have achieved that uh, we have built a 120 ton cold storage capacity. And also we have uh, equipped five ton flake ice machine that we are supplying to our, uh, our suppliers. Those are fishing. Then uh, uh, with, uh, in order to bring us uh, a very qualityful uh, fish. And also we have exported up to 25 ton of dry fish and lobster uh, as a, a sample. And we have, uh, and we have uh, also some uh, plans and, 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 uh, and also our contact address is uh, here, a physical address in uh, Somalia, Mogadishu. And uh, we have branches and in Hobio uh, processing area and Hafun in the dry fish center. And also we have collection centers in, both, in most of the uh, sea areas of the Somalia, that's Adala, Brawai, Berbera, Dosaswa, and Kisma. We have uh, this uh, phone number and we, this is our contact. And for that, I want to conclude my presentation and uh, within uh, the shortage of the time, thank you for your time and thank you for listening to us.
and we are ready to answer and uh, have a contact from your side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Very interesting also your presentation. Now we go to the, the last presentation uh, for this morning, uh, uh, for this panel. Uh, and um, I remember to all the participants that uh, uh, I will be online also this afternoon and tomorrow morning. Uh, I have my profile in the Silogy platform. Also the companies, uh, they have the, the, the profile active on the Silogy platform. They are, they are available for B2B tomorrow, to, to today, to this afternoon and tomorrow morning. So you can deepen all the issues you would like to, to deepen through uh, private meetings with, uh, with them. Obviously you, you have also the possibility to, uh, to post questions in the, in the chat. So I give the floor to uh, Bilan Fishing Company. Madam, you have the floor. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Excellence Government Ministerial, and, uh, and also uh, UNIDO, Excellence UNIDO, and also Italian Cooperation, and other all delegates and other all companies, all of them, thank you. Uh, we are a billion fishing company. Welcome, billion fishing company. The billion fishing company is a company that importance improve the livelihood condition of rural and the urban community in the in that area through fishing sector in order to improve youth and women's capacity, and also supplying good quality restaurant products to the local and the international markets. Uh, Okay, first reason why we start, we start building company 2015. But the first reasons why we start to building company, we start this company was the result of the country which we saw as available and the opportunity. And as well as when we, the second reason as well as when we felt the need local and abroad. We have the project we want to fund our company, uh, for example, to have storage capacity, 200 tons to, of fish. We would like to fund rivers. We want to make the uh, fund also more boats, which boats and the uh, solaris and also motors. And, our company at all, we don't have still international marketing, but we are still looking uh, to get international marketing. We need to make a cooperation. We need to work with other companies in our country also. We are welcoming and want to work with the international companies. So, and we, I want to say, we want to say Welcome and growth partners and investors with open arms. And what we are working on currently, we are fishing suppliers only. As I told you before, we are only working in Somalia and only supplier Somalia. Our country's work is to supply fishery to different parts of our country, such as other market is in also Mogadishu, uh, also by Dabo and Jauha. The lad, lad lock, the lad lock places. Currently work, we Mogadishu we suppliers to restaurants and hotels and local homes, it means this, that is the, there's the women also they are selling uh, the fish is their own. And in Boydava, we supply to restaurants and the hotels. In Johar, also, we supply restaurants and the hotels. The kilometers in Mogadishu, 495 kilogram, and Boydava, 216 kilogram, and the Johar, 
few hundred or ten kilograms. Future, we will like to work. We all agree that it is time to have external market for fish export. Inshallah, our company can deliver monthly service delivery. Our company can deliver seven tons of fish, of fish monthly. Monthly service delivery like that, type of fish, kingfish, tuna fish, hamora, tuna, lobster, kalami, fish kind of fishes we, can, we have in our company, all kingfish, all tuna, and whole hamora, and whole tukada, lobster, kalami. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam. It's really interesting also in, uh, in Mogadishu. So uh, now I, I would like to give the floor to the president of Federica, Mr. Giannini. Because, uh, uh, I, I, okay, Mr. Giannini, you have the floor, please. Uh, good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you so much for uh, for for the floor, uh, I, let me thank also uh, Unido and uh, Italian uh, Italian cooperation and uh, uh, mainly I will say that uh, who is uh, guesting the, this this event that is uh, uh, Fiore di Ferrara for uh, for uh, this interesting uh, seminar today. Uh, let me. Uh, tell you that uh, uh, all the presentation uh, have been uh, so, so interesting and I, I attach great attention about what is, uh, what is happening uh, uh, now in, in Somalia in terms of uh, uh, development uh, uh, in, the, in, these, uh, uh, in, in, in the fishery sector. And uh, uh, I, I watched uh, the, 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 the presentation, I listened to, to the presentation, and um, I will say that there is uh, room for, uh, for a, a, a possible cooperation between Federal Pace Camp and, uh, and uh, each and, uh, and uh, every, every company. Uh, we'll try just to, to put a question about uh, uh, about, about the you know the the, the, the fishing uh, uh, systems uh, that have been adopted, uh, and the, the question is the how to, uh, to 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 get uh, you know some uh, uh, profitable results from the uh, fishing in uh, in the in the deep uh, deep sea. Uh, waters, uh, uh, keeping interest uh, mainly to uh, deep sea uh, crustaceans, uh, without uh, the, the the trolling, the trolling system that uh, uh, seems to be still forbidden in the in in the Somali uh, in the Somali waters. So uh, how, how is possible to combine sustainable fishing uh, because you know, uh, also, also trolling could be sustainable uh, all over the world where, where it, it is uh, used as a uh, main uh, fishing system uh, with uh, you know, possibility to, uh, to, to catch some uh, 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 interesting uh, uh, quantities of uh, of uh, deep sea uh, crustaceans in the in the Somali waters. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Giannini. I think Mr. Addo from the Ministry of Fisheries uh, would reply to these questions. Mr. Addo, are you online? Uh, yes, yes, I had I had a bad connection a little bit before. Uh, can you please uh, come again the question? Yes, Mr. Benini, could you please re uh, repeat the question in, in a very short terms? Uh, 
Uh, yes. Uh, what what do you, what do you think about uh, you know possible introduction of uh, uh, trolling in the in the uh, in, in the fishing opportunities in in Somalia? Uh, th thank you, thank you so much, uh, Luigi, Mr. Luigi, I, and I, I welcome your question. Uh, I, I just want to answer this question very clearly, as the law said, the uh, trolling is totally banned in Somalia under the Fisheries Law, which has been passed by the Parliament and signed by the President in 2014. And uh, the, the, there are some discussions which is ongoing right now, since we are or we are amending our Fisheries Law, but 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 the but the question is still on the, on the table. But right now, I can tell you that the, the, the trolling or the trollers are banned in Somalia at all. Thank you. Um, thank you so much uh, for, for the answer. I, I, I know that you know, trolling is banned, but uh, what we envisage is uh, that through uh, cooperation with uh, uh, the uh, Italian uh, research bodies, biological research bodies, we can uh, find proper solutions to combine, you know, uh, sustainability with uh, uh, industrial fishing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Giannini. We can deepen uh, all these aspects uh, uh, through the um, through the Italian the Mogadishu office of the Italian cooperation in Mogadishu, and also with the Italian uh, Italian bodies, Italian stakeholders in this sector. Very very interesting point. Now I'm uh, I'm reading the the, the chat. Uh, we don't have, we don't have particular questions, but we have some presentation from the company. So. Mr. Luca Bargilli, show yourself for cold rooms and refrigerated warehouses. So you can you can contact him to the to the email. Also Omar, uh, Omar yes, in Parma, you can contact him for um, fish processing machine. We know we know very well these companies because we collaborated collaborated with them in the past. So uh, they are they are very very good very very good companies. So you can contact them. Um, okay, so I think uh, uh, I think we don't have other questions now in the chat. Huh? How are conducting a design for a new fish market for Medici? Okay, so uh, we welcome any comment or contribution from industry participants. So you can uh, you can yeah, if, Francesco, yeah. if you allow me, if you allow me to talk one 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 moment. Yeah, uh, see, please 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 go. Yeah, he, uh, thanks to Stephen. Uh, the FAO uh, and, and the ministry uh, are planning to conduct a, a design and a feasibility study in Mogadishu. And uh, there is an EU funded project it's called CCAP. We are planning to have a, a modern fish fishes market in Mogadishu. So, taking this opportunity and advantage, I would like to have a have comments on that if, if there is any industry or fishing company would like to uh, add some comments or would like to communicate someone uh, I, I wish they will give more information to Stephen or or can read us we can talk to them thank you so much thank you thank you very much mr addo uh, yes okay so i think uh, we don't have other other questions other specific questions to the companies there are some, com some comments regarding the, um, the FAO, uh, FAO in Macalester Mogadishu needs to, okay, so um, we fully support the Ministry of Fishery on banning trolling. Uh, okay, so, so th there are some comments, but not, uh, not questions. Uh, I think that uh, we, remain, uh, we remain at your disposal for any in-depth. Uh, my, my email is f.pallocca f, uh, f at unido.org. So you can write me uh, also this afternoon. You can find me in the platform of Syllogy for B2B, but also, uh, also, also the companies, also the companies, they have the, uh, the profiles in the, 
in the platform. Um, my question is directed to Mr. Ad. Do you think commercial foreign fisheries? Uh, okay. There is a question for Mr. Addo. Do you think commercial foreign fisheries and uh, developing local fisheries can coexist? Mr. Addo, if you'd like to reply. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I, would like, I would like to greet my brother, Omar Mahalali. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the simple answer is yes. We do look forward to having this kind of arrangements. And uh, there, is, there, there will be soon a, a, a letter from the ministry which will uh, send to, to all embassies and international organizations that we are welcoming uh, partners from Furian to partner in Somali companies. Well, we, we want to encourage them and we will absolutely uh, hoping that some Italian companies or other international companies would like to have any kind of partner in Somali companies. So, so that, that, that kind of arrangement is absolutely uh, welcome. Okay, thank you very much. So we have um, a few a few minutes for the um, to conclude the, the the panel. Mr. Zach, you have the the you raised hand. Would you like to add anything? Okay, I think uh, I think we can we can uh, we can conclude. So we remain here uh, online this afternoon and tomorrow to reply to your questions and to um, for private meetings uh, in the CDOG platform. I thank again uh, I thank again uh, uh, the CDOG organizer and the organization staff Ferrara Fiere, Massimo Lince and the others. Uh, thank you very much to all the participants, to the guests, to the companies. I think uh, together we can uh, we can collaborate for the uh, development of, of sustainable fisheries uh, of Somalia, which is the title of this uh, of this webinar. I wish you uh, I wish you the um, a good work for also this afternoon for the other webinars in the program today tomorrow until Sunday, and let's hope to 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 come in Ferrara in April for the for the physical edition of the uh, of the um, of the exhibition. Thank you very much to all. I'm writing my email on the chat. And then I think we can, uh, I think we can, uh, we can stop the, uh, we can stop the meeting. Okay, this is my email, f.allocca at unido.org. Thank you very much. Thank you to all. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.